Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 0 0.90 Beta. In this episode we have to deal with the probe named Rocky which is meant to drill for Orin substrate on Minmus and in addition to that I need to bring back this second stage hopefully at least this will survive even though the Maximus 5A the main launch stage of the vehicle was lost. I did clear up the, uh, the debris, by the way, because uh, that would have caused lag. I actually tried going to it, and it started causing massive... Well, it was basically zero frames per second around there. So I cleared that up, and uh, so that is safe now. But we have to deal with Rocky. I've also decided that the mobile refinery should be named Bowwinkle. So uh, even though Rocky is named after the Rocky movies, Rocky 1, and then we'll have Rocky 2, Rocky 3, Rocky 4, Rocky 5, etc., um, the the refinery uh, and other ships like it will be named uh, Bowinkle A Moose, Bo Bowinkle B Moose, Bowinkle C Moose, and so forth. Uh, alluding, of course, to Rocky and Bowinkle. Uh, I think this is a good way to go. So yeah, that is my naming convention for these guys. All right. So anyway, I've plotted the Minmus transfer. Let's get to it, and uh, I'll talk more about this on the way there. So yeah, uh, order of operations, we need to get the the mobile refinery, the Bowinkle, Bowinkle A I'll call it. Uh, Bowinkle A needs to get into orbit around Minmus first, and then uh, Rocky here uh, will get into orbit, af uh, and then after that I'll bring back down this second stage, because this second stage will swing by Minmus, and then uh, head on back to Kerbin. Well, actually, we can use it to get get the payload into orbit around in this, not just a flyby. Okay, here we go. Lots of Delta V on this, much more than is necessary. This tank is locked, so it has, uh, that's the reserve fuel to bring it back. Oh, overheating. Need to throttle down there. But clearly, this payload, uh, being empty mostly, is uh, quite light for this stage. Haven't really used the Maximus and this stage for what they were really intended. What the Maximus system was really intended to do was to launch payloads to Duna. Uh, we haven't hit the Duna transfer yet. The Duna transfer is in a whole 152 days. So a long time before that. Perhaps we can do some sort of jewel thing at least, but um, I don't know if this has enough juice for that sort of launch. I guess we'll have to launch a smaller payload in order to do that, if we want to bring this back. If we didn't want to bring this back, I think it can uh, launch the payloads to Jewel Direct. One thing I need to do is I need to learn how to calculate cycler orbits. Um, orbits where we could put uh, like habitation modules that will periodically hit planets, so uh, they'll hit Duna and then come back to Kerbin eventually, automatically, they're in orbit that is in sort of a cycle like that. Uh, it, I know, um, you know, famously Buzz Aldrin calculated one for uh, Mars and Earth, and so it should be possible to do that for Kerbin and Duna, as well as probably all the other planets in the system. Uh, probably Moho would be very difficult. But uh, but the others should be possible. Got a little piece of something there. Oh, that's debris from the carbonite detector. We are getting crowded. I'm only clearing up debris on the ground. So, yeah, it's getting crowded up here. Okay, that looks good. Uh, 280 kilometers. We've got a return. If we wanted to have the payload do its orbit around Minmus and just have the the stage return we could do that but I don't think that's going to be the way to go so anyway uh, the the drilling unit the Rocky is on its way so let us turn back to the Bullwinkle A and uh, I'll see what we need to do with that okay here we are it's a nice view we've got Kerbin and the moon of course we're heading to Minmus that's why we're far out enough to see him like this and I am going to rename this so rename vessel and hopefully I'll uh, it's not really a it's a ship let's call it a ship and uh, Bullwinkle A Moose 
Yep. Okay. Hopefully I'll remember which which one is A, which one is B. I mean, they're in the order of the flow of operations. If you remember, I put together exactly where everything will be. Well, not exactly, but uh, generally where all the materials will be going through. And so this is the first one to get the materials. And then the stuff from here will go into B and so forth. And that's the intention. But uh, we'll have to see whether that really works out. I know there are some sort of loops in the middle there that uh, go back on it. But anyway, uh, here it is. I've already plotted the Minmus orbit. Uh, decided to focus view and do that for the first time ever. Uh, probably a good thing. Anyway, it lets me uh, take it from out here instead of going from map view. So here we go. Okay. So here we are, Minmus Sphere of Influence. There's Kerbin and the Moon. Still not really seeing Minmus. Oh, well, there, there it is. We're just very far away from it. Okay. Now, it's a good thing to have this in uh, inclined orbit. And that's because uh, then uh, the probe that's going to be drilling our uh, Rocky will be able to land at many different locations around Minmus and still be able to rendezvous with this easily without too much of a plane change. Not that plane changes are really hard on Minmus, around Minmus, I mean. Okay, that is a good periapsis. Let's go around to it and then drop our apoapsis to a nice tight orbit. Ooh, uh, though that's gonna take a long time it looks like. 16 hours to get to periapsis. Our Rocky is already close by. So here we are with Rocky and uh, Rocky says 13 hours. So it's gonna get in before Bullwinkle gets to Periapsis. So let's take care of it first. This is in, in an almost polar orbit which again is not bad. It's just gonna be going to a landing straight down and then we'll adjust whatever inclination we need to meet up with the mobile refinery on the way up. Okay, maybe a little bit lower. It's gonna be landing anyway. Okay. Now, which one do we have to do with first now? That one is there. Well, I'll just follow them both. Uh, probably that one's going to take less than two hours to get to its periapsis, but let's see. Let's just pay attention. Look at how busy Minmus is now. We are really developing Minmus here. No, I think this one will get to periapsis first. Oh, I, I wanted to send over the Kerbal Personal Mobility Vehicle or whatever I might want to call it something for Kerbals to get around without any fuss across the Minmus surface. Gotta look into that. Okay, so this is in a nice tight orbit. Let's go back to Bowinkle A Moose. And we're just tightening this one's orbit and then we'll be focused on the on the Rocky for most of the time. Uh, and of course it's uh, transfer stage so first thing probably bring the transfer stage back and then we will or or while the transfer stage is on its way back to Kerbin we'll handle the probe business on Minmus and see if it can drill properly yeah we could probably do the drilling and the rendezvous back with this before the transfer stage gets back to Kerbin Okay, that's good. Um, a little bit elongated is probably good. It'll give the the drilling unit a little bit of room to rendezvous with this again. So the drilling unit can get into a lower orbit and such. Okay, I guess uh, we didn't have anything that could scan below that latitude. Looks like a well, no, it's not fairly evenly distributed. It's actually the fact that the colors don't vary properly. 
you can see that's 5.1 percent there uh, here it's 2.75 percent but color wise I can barely tell the difference it is not uh, colored very helpfully um, possibly there are settings tweak that but I guess that is not something I want to do while recording Clearly there are some blank spots where there is no ore, but in general there seems to be plenty. Wish I could see the location of our existing base on this map. I suppose uh, landing close to it, I don't know. Um, we should plant a flag at that base, then it'll show up here. Okay, I think I've got to do that first. Just in case, if our base already has good ore concentration, well, no, I don't think that's a good idea. We'll get a lot of lag near the base if we try and land it there. So we should try and land it at a different location and drill for ore there. Let's see. Um, this is a spot with 5.03%. Uh, this is better. Can we get to 6%? So I've got negative 52.75 and longitude negative 98.5 as my target okay now I want to input that into landing guidance but uh, let's, let's see we're still we're still with the wrong vehicle so let me head back to Rocky okay so here with Rocky I think it's time to decouple the mission and so I'm going to do that, throttle this down, everything looks safe. Yep, I think we've got everything squared away, so here, mission decouple. And we'll ignite the mission's own engine. It's got 3,000 meters per second because it's empty, of course, it's got a trivial amount of fuel when it's uh, full. Anyway, we'll have to make sure it doesn't get so... F I mean, in theory, I've got enough fuel to get back up again, but I'll have to make sure of that. Okay, so uh, here, I think... Maybe we should... No, nah, let, let's get this on its way first. Then we'll land. Okay, so this will unlock... <laughs> it doesn't even need its reserve tank, but we'll unlock it anyway. Yep. It's got lots and lots of delta V. It's got this weird orbit. That should do the trick. Okay. So that's in an hour and 18 minutes. But I guess I'll just follow it. Let's not bounce back and forth anymore. I think we can go for 30, but. Uh, maybe just bringing the orbit back down slowly is fine too. I really want to recover this stage. We can we can leave it there. That's fine. It's, it looks like it's about to get lower on its own anyway. Okay. So that's heading back. 30 tons. 30.87 tons this thing. Okay. So now the the main mission. The Rocky. Okay. So now that I'm here Oh, I accidentally clicked stage only. That'll confuse me. Landing guidance. I want to enter target coordinates. Roughly there. Highlands. That's fine. Very high. Okay. So do we have a little marker? Okay. Wow. Look at that. That might be too extreme to rendezvous. Well, no, I think it'll be all right to rendezvous with our Bowinkle Amos. You can see it'll, it'll end up underneath that orbit quite nicely. Yeah, this is a very convenient situation. Um, except we should have started landing like uh, a while ago, because we're right underneath now, uh, but uh, Mimis is going to rotate. Ugh, we should like come straight down. Oh well, we're gonna have to uh, correct it on the fly. We'll have to go around anyway. It's also in the darks. Uh, no, it's not good because it's in the dark. We'll wait for it to. We'll wait for it to get to this point in the daylight. 
let me uh, just because I haven't done it uh, recently make sure that all of our supplies are in order something we have to do okay all right time warp and I'll wait till that point gets to the other side of Minmus oh <laughs> we actually went over that thing but I have no idea what we're doing for that so oh well okay I think I'll make my descent burn now I'll correct a bit it'll rotate a bit so let's go a little bit further okay let's call that our descent burn pretty pitiful landing gear mind you it's probably gonna be resting on the drills and the engine I don't know if it can well especially when it's fully loaded okay I think we need to retro burn okay well that should get us around the right region now these are the coordinates alright we're about uh, five minutes to ten minutes off in each direction but actually more in the southerly direction 5.18 that's not bad okay I did put lights on this thing let's see got these safety lights not particularly great for landing but Oh, what's that? Oh, that's on the other side of the planet. The moon. We should have downward facing lights, don't we? Yeah, we do. We have downward facing lights. They're a little bit clipped in though, so they might not work as planned. We've got the docking lights on top. Ah, I always use too much thrust to land on Minmus. Of course, we'll need quite a lot going back up. Uh, yeah, I know I can uh, limit the throttle. Don't, don't tell me about that. Okay, we are on the ground. It's actually standing pretty well. Of course, Mimis is low gravity right now, but we'll see how it is when it's fully laden. Okay, let's deploy drill. We gotta start or drilling. Let's see how that consumes electric charge before initiating the other drill. Okay, we're getting ore. Our electric charge isn't being depleted. Okay, let's deploy the other drill. Okay, looks like I managed to put enough electric charge generation on here. That's good at least. Now let's wait for a full load. I'll keep monitoring my delta V to make sure I continue to have enough. But we'll wait for a full load and then we'll try to bring it up to... Oh, uh, I have to pay attention. Maybe I'll leave this alone for now. I have to pay attention to the, our craft returning. It's still a ways out though. How long? Well, let, let, let me go from this view and keep an eye on the ore and we'll see how it goes whoa whoa oh uh, we've uh, we went into darkness didn't we okay well um let's just leave it be uh, let me turn back to our probe on its way back to Kerbin I think that's probably the better bet Okay, so here we are with the second stage of the Maximus, and let us just bring her back. Uh, lower periapsis than I was expecting. Probably. Probably okay. Won't be able to control... Yeah, we should be able to get close to the KSC. So maybe I'll correct this. We've got 2,263 meters per second. Too bad this doesn't come with a docking port to attach to further payloads or anything. Let's go for 36 kilometers. I think that'll give us a lot of opportunity to adjust our orbit.
Okay, here we go. Let's see what does and does not survive daily reentry. Should be all intact, but we'll see. Overheating on the engines. But hopefully not for long as we're coming close to periapsis. Good thing I didn't go too much lower than this. Our orbital period is now within our battery life, though I'll still extend the solar panels. So if I try to steep descent without using the engine power, uh, we would probably be in big trouble from overheating. But uh, maybe if I run the engines, we would be safe, except that running the engines also co causes overheating, so maybe I'll just have double overheating. Um, now I should fix staging at this point. Okay, well, it was good aero break. Let's uh, correct our orbit. Okay, that should do. Well, actually, we could go to 80. We're still in the atmosphere, so it's still having an effect on us. Okay, but that's the general idea. KSC will be in the dark, unfortunately. Okay, point one I can deal with. In fact, point one is probably, I mean, it's within what we've got there. Probably not the right point one. Probably we need the uh, point one the other way. But anyway, uh, close enough for now. Let's see about descent. First to circularize. Okay. And then to descend. I should do a deliberately gentle descent and then use the rest of my thrust to stop myself. So I'm gonna give myself plenty of leeway. I thought I gave myself enough leeway but it does not look like it. Hmm. I'm going to actually correct this now. I'm going to... Right, okay, no, no, do that. Uh, no, actually, uh, Smart ASS, uh, you're going to not be happy with this. Okay. Okay, let's see if that does the trick. Probably not, we'll see. It's eating into it pretty quickly. Are we still high enough to try that again? Let's try that again. Okay, that's about as much of that as I think this thing can take. Uh, especially since every time I do that it makes the descent angle steeper. Okay, looks like it was actually too high. Okay, so we're coming in steeply now. Oh, oh, the engines. Be careful. Ah, uh, the engines are not cooperating with me. We're passing it. We couldn't burn quickly enough. I overcorrected upward. Should have trusted myself initially. Oh well. Worst attempt at precision landing ever. Honestly. Well, at least we dumped some fuel out so that I don't have to 
land heavy. Okay, it's in the water. It's very stout, so it's not going to tip over. Recovering vessel. Okay, uh, we've got some science return because recovery of vessel returned from orbit around Minmus. And, uh, well, 96.2% of the total value, 14,621 funds. That was more than that, but that might have been in 0.25 calculations. Okay, we are back with our rocky drilling unit, and it has filled up with ore, it looks like. And it still has 495 meters per second left. Let me disengage the drilling units and retract them. It's just now getting some sunlight. Uh, the sun might be setting, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's still getting sunlight though, that's important. And so anyway, uh, the good thing is it continued drilling whoops, uh, while we were not here. So that worked out nicely. And now I have to arrange for a transfer back up to up to our waiting bullwinkle so that's our target um, looks like just in a little bit of more time it'll be night time but we're recharging now we should have enough battery life uh, we can head up there and yeah uh, it won't be too hard I'll be fine I'm really hoping that I've got the thrust right on this otherwise it won't even lift off okay I think we'll go now we should head north northwest okay okay barely going up here oh there's the marker I was looking for a little marker there okay Oh, I don't have. I should have uh, target. Yeah. Relative inclination is going up. What's my target? Um. Oh shoot! I was looking at the wrong place. Ah. Uh. I thought that uh, that's our base. That's not this. Uh oh. Well, we, we have to proceed now. Yeah, that was all nice and brightly lit. I thought that was us. No, this is us. I lined up with that and I'm at 90, like, well, 77 degrees off. Crud. Should have had this up in the first place. Well, we have a potential encounter there. Still with, uh, well, not with much inclination. Well, if this uh, vehicle can correct this sort of mistake, I think uh, we're good to go. All right, so there's the plan. We're still going to have to do another burn to help us rendezvous, but uh, Target, the Bullwinkle A Moose, can probably help us there too. We'll see. But we're gonna be out of fuel. So we'll, we're gonna have to send a refueler for both the Bullwinkle and this. Since there's no way that uh, either system can produce fuel for itself. And that means our Carbonite Mining Unit is going to have to come into play. We need a little, f well, uh, we've got the fuel transfer vehicle. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually the LFO tanker that will come into play. Our LFO tanker can bring up the fuel. Let's be optimistic. Open the docking hatch. Hello. Okay, we are now in orbit around Minmus.
Okay, our closest approach distance. Uh oh, going up now. Okay, well. Oh, we've got an encounter there. I didn't think that was the one we were going for. Well, we're within one kilometer. Probably best to play it safe at this point. Proceeding with velocity matching burn. Still got some fuel left. Without the load we could head back to the surface but we wouldn't be able to get it back up again. Let me check out the efficacy of RCS with this load. It's a pretty heavy load. Yeah, we're not going to have too much RCS power here. For this heavy load, I think I'll have it dock on the nose instead of one of these side ports. So, we'll just uh, turn like this instead of changing where we're controlling from. The refueler, I guess, we'll have to dock on the side port, but that's going to be inconvenient. Refueler is pretty big too, but not quite as heavy as the Rocky. I want to change the name of the Rocky to get rid of the name of the launcher. Now we haven't, I don't think we've added to the base something that can produce mod propellant. So that's something we have to send over as well. Because we're going to run out of mod propellant eventually. Probably sooner rather than later. With such a heavy load and all the mod propellant I intend to spend while docking. Got a nice view here. Curbing over there. This might end up being the largest object I've had in orbit around Minmus in terms of mass. I'll have to check on the station, but I don't think it's quite this massive. Maybe close. Okay, we have bounce. And docking. All right, now the the real trick. Uh, I don't want to have to transfer the ore. I just wanted to process it directly. Let's see if it can. So uh, first of all, I found out that we didn't have any polymers because uh, I guess polymers require more than just substrate. So let's see if we can make polymers here. Uh, no missing inputs. So I'm missing an input for polymers. I'm gonna have to look up what that is. Let's uh, maybe a combination of the three. I'll have to check. But anyway, we can produce more metal, and surely we have enough space for that. So let's start metal production. Okay, and so it looks like we are increasing our supply of metals. Plenty of space for the metals that we're going to produce. I think. Uh, yeah, we're not going to fill up half of the tank. Possibly because of the efficiency factor here too. But uh, in any case, uh, that is what we've got going. It's it's now free money because we drilled it out of uh, Minmus. And everything that we drill is just going to be free supply for us. So fair enough, whatever the efficiency is. And I'll leave it here for this episode. So, successful test of our system to drill ore. Don't know about the substrate, I assume it's going to work out the same way. And we'll have to do many further things in the next episode. I also have that uh, asteroid coming in. Uh, we need to capture just an A-class. It's uh, going to be an easy thing, but we've got a contract for it, so we ought to fulfill it. We've got uh, this contract here to bring it into orbit around Kerbin. Okay, so, uh, yep, and lots of other contracts to think about, too. Alright, so I think that'll do it for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.